channel Dance Mom here this afternoon to bring you a packing video and review on my brand new Lily Jade Megan. This is in the navy color that they have released um, recently. There's the navy and the galena which are limited colors so I thought when I decided to get a Megan and try it out I wanted to get the navy because I think it's gorgeous and I do wear a lot of blue so I thought it would go really nicely with what I wear. So this bag is one is basically Lily Jade's largest bag that they offer. It does have pockets on the front and on each side, but it doesn't have the typical zip pocket at the back. So I'm just going to go over the features of the outside of the bag, show you what I have put in there, and then I will show you what the inside is like as well. So it does come with the leather tassel. This is a full grain leather bag. It has the gold hardware, the Lily Jade plate here, gold zippers, gold buckles. All the inside um, lining is actually a goldy kind of tanny color. So they've really thought about making everything look really sophisticated on this bag. The blue is beautiful. It's a little bit darker than the video is showing. And I have conditioned and water sprayed it and it just it makes it it's so soft and slouchy. I just I'm in love. I'm in love with this bag. You've got the J tass um, beads on the tassel, the gold hardware on the tassel as well. There's a pocket at the front, as I said, and in this pocket I have my iPhone 7 Plus fits in there. And I also have a little Burt's Bees lip balm. Now this pocket, it, it is um, able to get a lot, quite a lot of things in there because it's not inhibited by how full you stuff the bag. I did find it didn't fit as much as I was hoping because it's got very small little um, gussets on the side or little side bits. So it doesn't extend out very much, but I, I mean, I could fit a small set piece in there, Jujube small set piece, but I decided not to stuff it full. So I just have my phone and my lip balm in there. They do have magnetic closures and it does find the magnets really nicely. The inside, as you can see, you've got this goldy, browny, tanny <laughs> color. I can't really think of what this color would be, but it does look really nice with the blue. I do miss my jade lining, but this is kind of different. So it is nice to have that difference on the lining. I do have a passive Jujube passy pod on the outside here. This is in the Sea Punk. And I just think it adds a bit of color to the bag. It goes really cute. I just love it. I don't usually use passy pods, but I had all five of my children today. And this is what this is packed for. This is packed for my two younger girls with snacks and everything. It's packed for my older three boys as well with just an activity and some drink bottles in there. So this bag does hold quite a lot. So this actually, this passy pod actually has a memory card game inside. So, which is really nice. So let me just take it off and I'll show you. And I just hooked it through the loop here. So inside here, it opens up and I've just got some memory cards that I got from the game shop. That's the lining of the Sea Punk. I just think it looks awesome. So that was just popped on the outside, on the other side of the tassel. On the side pocket here, I have put a hand sanitizer and some tissues. I was kind of stumped what to put in this pocket. I have seen other people put small set pieces and I could fit my little small set piece with my mommy stuff, but it really made it stuffed full and I didn't want to overstuff the pocket. So those two things worked out well. And then on the other side, like a lot of other people put on their Lily Jade pockets in their Megan, I do, well I don't have my keys in there at the moment because I just came inside, but I usually put my keys in here as well. Back of the bag here, I have the messenger strap attached for backpack wearing. I found this extremely comfortable today. I am going to pop a video up here that you can you can have a look at uh, that will show how I can wear this bag tote style, which is really really nice, comfortable drop length for me, and backpack style. I am five foot nine, um, and this just seems to be a little bit longer than my Shaylee or my Madeline. And when I was wearing it today, I found it really really comfortable because it was that little bit longer. So I do have it anchored here, I have it attached to the D-rings down here, but if you wanted to, you could take this off, attach it to the D-rings on the side here and use it um, over the shoulder, as a longer over the shoulder or as a crossbody. I don't usually wear the Lily J bags that way, I find them the most comfortable backpack style. I know that may sound surprising because you know these are just leather straps, but it is so comfortable, it's amazing. Okay, so let's go into the center of the bag and I'll show you how I have that packed up. So, <clears throat> there is quite a long zipper, very buttery smooth. I love the Lily Jade zippers. 
You've got a leather tag here, zipper pull as well. And as you can see on the inside here, it is that same browny tanny lining, which looks really nice. Now, I was wondering if this bag was going to be too big, but honestly, I love the size of this. I love it because I can just toss things on the top and I don't feel like I'm really stuffing the bag full. And I just, I, I don't think it looks huge. People say maybe because I'm taller, but I don't think it looks ginormous. On the top here, I do have my daughter's blanket, a cardigan. This is for the youngest one. And then I did use the insert today, as you can see in there. And see, so it doesn't even look stuffed full with the insert. And this is what I normally put in my insert, but I will show you in a moment. Because there isn't a zipper on the back of this bag where I normally put my wallet, I did actually put my Toki Doki wallet into this pocket right here. I found that was really handy. I actually got that idea from Amber from Sensible Mama. I think that's where she put her wallet. So I decided that was a pretty nifty place. And I'm using, this is in the Metropolis print. I just got this recently. I actually really love using these as wallets. I've got my, coin, uh, my card holder on the outside with my debit cards and such. And then on the inside, I've just got another card holder with my medical cards and my punch cards and if I needed coins or money in there I could pop that in there too. That's a really cute pretty pink lining and I just think this looks like a really nice little wallet. So that was in that pocket. On the other pocket next to that I've just got a little protein bar and my packet of mints. The only other pocket on the inside without the insert is the zip pocket at the back here and in here I just always put a coin purse or something with my brush and I'm using my Roma coin purse, Turkey Doki Roma coin purse because it's kind of roomier and I can access things a little better. So I've got some hair ties and clips and my round brush in there in that back pocket. Now there's the insert in there. I will take it out real quick just to show you what I have in there and you can also see how the bag looks without the insert. This does have handles and it just pulls right out like this. The nice thing about this insert is that it is a little bit more structured than the other Lily Jane inserts that I have. I think that's a new thing they've done since August this year. So that the bottom actually has a structured cardboard thing that actually helps this stand up. So these inserts are great. They're machine washable. They have handles to put them in and out. One suggestion I do make, if you're putting this into the um, Megan, I, I take out the bottles and then put the insert in and then put the bottles in the pockets just because it makes it easy to get the insert in but getting it out was really easy. So the two pockets in the front here and here I use these for my snack um, pouches so in here I've got a small be organized with some snacks. This is the one for my 18 month old, 20 month old I should say, gosh she's getting older and she's actually eaten some of the stuff in there but I had some um, noodle snacks and things in there and this is in the Juju B, small B organized in the Super Toki. And then on the other side, I have one for my daughter, my older daughter, and this is in uh, Space Place. Again, same kind of thing nuts and berries in the snack pouch and noodle packet thing that they can eat. <laughs> on either side, I do have drink bottles. I have a Fugu Thermos on this side and a Thermos, regular Thermos bottle on the other side. These are fantastic to hold your drink bottles especially in the Lily Jade bags. Just turning this around so you can see the other outside pockets. These ones are for toys. So on this side, I've got a small be organized for my youngest daughter with uh, some Tegu blocks and fidget spinner and my little pony in there. This is in Sea Punk. And then on the other side, I've got one for my older daughter. This is in the new Turkey Pops. I love my Be Organized pieces, they're fantastic. And this just has my little ponies, Moana dolls, um, Powerpuff Girls. And this was really good when we were out today. She actually played with this and her older brother. So just taking a few little toys, it's amazing how much ent entertainment they actually get. On the inside pockets, on this side, I have just a coin purse with a little med kit stuff inside of there. and a packet of antibacterial wipes and then on the other side is my mommy small set piece with my lipstick and lip gloss and headache tablets and lens wipes which I need to replace some um, hand cream things like that the center here I do have my nappy pouch this is from typo here in Australia and the top and it's got three little zippers this is a little tag I've got in, in Donatella sweet shop and the top here I did have two I, I used one while I was out but I had two disposable size 5 nappies a light change pad which is a really thin a foldable change pad from my base XY base bag by Jujube and then 
In this zipper pocket here, I just have a coin purse with some disposable baggies in there. I don't have anything down the bottom here, but this is great because it just stands up like that. And it looks kind of cool with the um, with the insert. I don't like having my nappies just showing in my bags for some reason. It's just my personal preference. So I like to try to put them in, an, in a little pouch if I can. Behind that, I have a, a wipe pouch just with some wipes in there. This is, you, I'll, I'll put the link below where you can get these from. It's an Australian company. Uh, she's out of stock a lot. So when she does get them in stock, they go really, really quickly. She does ship overseas though, which is a good thing. So this is a fantastic white pouch. So that's, that was in there. There are two elastic, there's an elastic pocket of the inside of the insert. I don't put anything in there because they're kind of hard to get things in and out of. But there is a little pocket back here and I do have my Toki Pops coin purse with a beanie bib inside of that one. Never use this, but I, I figure if I don't take it, she will want it to use it. Then the last thing is there's a zipper in the back here. I keep a change of pants or if coming into summer, I'll probably put a pair of shorts and a little t-shirt or a little dress or something in there just for a, a quick change of clothes if something happens. So that's everything I've got in my insert. As you can see, the bottom does, it sits a little bit more structured than the uh, old Lily Jade inserts. And I love that. See, it just stands up on its own and doesn't flop over. So here is the bag without the insert inside. And it does look ginormous, and I am going to try packing this without the insert and see how see how I go. I kind of feel like this is just a larger shaley, um, maybe a little bit lo uh, wider, but it's I think it's different to the Madeline. Um, so I feel like I probably can pack this okay without the insert, but honestly, I kind of like using the insert. But it is nice to have the option. So I will do another video showing how I would pack it with pouches and things like that instead of using the insert that comes with it. And I do love this bag. I'm gonna use it for the rest of the week, I think. And I have taken some pictures. I'll pop those up here to show you how it looks on my B Bugaboo B5. Surprisingly, it didn't tip the pram back even without Clara in the seat, which really is a testament to the stroller as well as the, the bag. I just think the bag looks lovely, but you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, and if you would like to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you for my next video. Have a good one. See ya.